I was going to say some of our guys have been traumatised in, you know, just unimaginable ways, but one of our staff members, and she talks about that very openly, she shares a lot, she speaks at a lot of events and stuff, but she was a victim of modern day slavery. When we sort of first met her, she was, um, we were working with an organisation called Bowser, uh, but that, we, we were linked in, well, we were able to link her in with them through work that we've done with another one of our residents previously, a male resident, but he'd also been a victim of modern day slavery and, and sexually exploited. Uh, so again, I think sort of kind of one, one of the things that, not that we, and it's never done deliberately, David, I would never do it in that way, but because this staff member, staff member staff, because she's very, very open about a story and everything like that, um, and shares that stuff so willingly within fellowships and, and within anything that we do, is it kind of, I think it makes it easy for everybody else to approach their own trauma because for so many individuals, there's a lot of guilt and shame attached to it. Wrongly so, we know that, but because of what's been done to that, that's how I'm also like the time, specifically the sexual stuff, they've been made to feel that way deliberately. It's part of the grooming process. You're made to feel this is part of your fault, etc., etc. So for us, we've got to sort of try and almost demystify that stuff a little bit and to say that this stuff is really common for people that go through addiction. It's really common for us to have experienced this. Um, but that we cannot allow it to define who we are as people moving forward and that, that we've got this. So uh, I can remember going once very early, what well, David Best said to me very early on, we were at an event and he was talking and about recovery and stuff. And this guy got up and, and basically, dead, dead honest, and he said, like, I used drugs because I was abused as a child. And they, David turned around and he said, you know, that's shit, it's really fucking shit. But you, you'll have always been abused as a child. Does that mean you'll always have to abuse drugs? Do you know what I mean? This thing has defined you for so long, you've got to let it define you for the rest of your life. And, and this, I think this is a bit for me, like I say, that um, staff from a staff member I'm sort of talking about, the last thing you would ever call her is the victim. At one point, yes, she was, she had her arm broken, her jaw broken. You know, she was brutalised in the most horrific ways imaginable. But is she a victim? No, she's probably one of the strongest women that I know. You know, mm. I mean, I mean don't, I, I, you know, I think she'll charge out of her ass and employ otherwise, but just everyone's the same thing. The amount of respect and the amount of weight that she pulls, just because she went through all that stuff, but she doesn't let it define who she is as a person. That's him. That's his shit. That's his stuff. This might be done to me, but I don't make that my stuff. That makes it his stuff. Do you know what I mean? That's not me. Do you know what I mean? And just and that ability to be able to sort of do it and to be able to sort of just really, really help other people to, to kind of get on 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 this road to 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 healing.